Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Welcome back to another episode of Uta Macross Gacha videos. This time round, we're gonna talk about Rankas and Melane's brand new gacha. Uh, usually the second event of the month. I would like to do both of them together because, well, the first diva that appears isn't exactly a new episode plate, kind of, because, well, it is a new plate, but it features costume points for an older costume. So it's not exactly that essential to pull, kind of, depending on how the episode played fast. So yes, I've decided to make the two gachas within the second event of the month kind of like a competition gacha video, you know, where you compare Ranka and Milane's, um, the two divas that are currently featured for the second event of the month. So yes, let's compare Milane's, uh, or rather rate Milane's episode played First, before we take a look at Ranka's brand new one, which doesn't actually feature a new costume for Ranka, which is kind of sad. <laughs> so, um, alright, so Milane's brand new episode plate, having a total score of 3865, pretty good, decent amount, um, well balanced stats all around. Alright, pay attention to who else can use the episode plate. So center skill, total up, units total is boosted by 30% up, not the best, so definitely Milane is looking towards uh, live skill support. Active skill, score up, so the usual stuff that we are commonly seeing nowadays, for 5 seconds your score is boosted by 70% up. Live skill, which is the most important, oh, <laughs> it's an improvement life skill, okay, <laughs> so yeah, score and damage improvement, or you know, yeah, whatever you want to call it by evolution, uh, you know, whatever terms that helps something out or makes it better. You know, English has just too many words just to describe a certain thing. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, if you want to improve your score and damage percentage in terms of scoring, you know, and of course reduce the amount of damage that you receive. Uh, it's it's all good. You know, it's one of those episode plates like I mentioned in the past. It's good to have it in your arsenal, but it's definitely not a must. Because all you have to do is basically just equip one of these episode plates uh, within your whole setup and let it do its magic. So yeah, I uh, just have to pay attention that, you know, the element or the series that the episode flick comes with, um, that's basically all you have to collect, basically one of each colour and you're good to go. So let's take a look at the last page to see whether it has any attachments to it, So because that's going to make it um, the decisive factor whether this episode play is definitely a must to obtain or not. So sadly to say, nope, Milane gets no boost from the special notes department, which is fine. I mean, after all, it has a pretty good total score, uh, even though, you know, the center skill, the active skill doesn't really do justice to this episode plate, but its live skill does bring out potential in other episode plates, so it's pretty okay. It is not the best out there, you know, so it's pretty much a mediocre episode plate. Definitely, if you have not unlocked Milane's swimsuit before, uh, this is definitely a chance to do so to try and obtain it via the new episode plate or maybe an older one that she had um, you know the last time this event was first introduced so yeah okay let's take a look at Ranka's episode plate Ranka's costume is not new this has been around since well forever since Macross Frontier ever showcased Ranka in this costume uh, I, I, if I recall, I think this was shown in the movie edition. It wasn't introduced in the TV series. I might be wrong though, but I very I recall it very well being shown in the movie instead. So yeah, um, 3,866 total, a pretty okay amount. Um, almost similar to lanes and pretty well balanced that all around. Just that, you know, charm breaks into the... 1300 score sector so yeah um, pay attention to the other two, three divas that can actually equip this episode plate because you know we are very close to experiencing that solar uh, solo diva event solar why in the world am I thinking about solar okay uh, so yeah we are just 
a few weeks away from that very uh, first occurrence of the Solo Diva event. So I'm looking forward to that as well. So yep, yeah, uh, center skill. Oh, it's the same as Milane. Huh. <laughs> okay, moving along. Active skill. Okay, so it recovers 30% of your health. So it's got an option to be a center position episode plate, but still we have 50% as the highest amount of life recovery out there. So no, uh, Ranka's plate is definitely not meant to be used as a center position episode plate. So both episode plates are life skill supports. That's pretty interesting. So I mean, after all, Milane does has uh, her seven star episode plate um, to help function as a center position episode plate this month. So yeah, Milane's your main girl this entire month. Just pay attention to that. If you want to do decently well with your event. Alright, so life skill, mode, score up. So if you guys are not familiar with this, basically yeah, you have to activate Cho Uta Hime mode. Um, and of course, any notes that you tap that is great and below, you will gain 110% of skill score for that note tap yeah basically it just covers up your flaws in time in terms of you know playing when you don't do so well you break or you get great or you get a miss you know that kind of stuff that kind of thing that you know hinders you from doing your full potential of getting a great high score so once again Ranka's plate is pretty much similar to Milane um, both uh, not exactly a must-have life skill, but it's great to have in your arsenal. Just once again, pay attention to whatever series or color elements they belong to. Just get a copy of it and you're good to go. So let's see if Ranka's last page actually has anything special attached to it. So it's just like Milane, <laughs> nothing attached to it. So to honestly speak, um, both are equally okay to obtain which has more uh, potential to you to have you wanting it is actually Ranka because her episode plate is attached with new costume points unlike Milane's Milane's belongs to a very old costume so if you've not obtained Milane's swimsuit costume before you can go ahead and pull Milane's gacha but if you're looking for a brand new costume to add to your collection, Ranka's Gacha is definitely the way to go. So yes guys, I'm gonna pull Ranka's Gacha. I'm gonna skip entirely Milane's Gacha because I've already gotten her costume unlocked. And I see no reason to spend my singing stones on her Gacha. I would like to keep them for the future Gachas to come. So yes, let's dive into my waifu's Gacha. Hopefully, um... You know, the luck is there. Oh, Bobby! Oh, dang. <laughs> okay, so, uh, discounted pool first. I can afford to do another regular 500 stone pool, but it really depends on the luck. Um, my luck, however, today has been pretty bad. My free template pool was horrendous, so I'm, I'm a bit worried for this gacha pool. Alright, we get some decent loading time. Here we go. Oh god. So the l horrible luck continues on. Oh no. Okay, at least I get two red boxes from this, but I don't think they will evolve. Oh! Oh, I I got the points exclusive episode plate, so that's that's pretty good. At least it gives me an option to unlock Raka's costume via you know episode. Ops, which is the most painful way to do unlocking. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, yep, old episode plates. Ah. Well, there's one more red box, so no evolution for it. What's with all the SDM love? <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's horrible. Okay, I do get that. Episode plate evolved, so I will get its full maximum potential of points for the costume. I tell you what, 
I'm just gonna toss in my 500 stones. It, it's just calling me out. It needs to be... You know, the bad luck needs to be flushed out. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, I'm not so sure about the next gacha's amount of stones though. Huh. I mean, there is the discounted stone packs running around right now, so... Let's see how things goes. Oh no... The bad luck continues. Really gotta flush up the bad luck. Oh, three red boxes. Okay. Oh. Crossover love. Okay, there we go. Oh. <laughs> Cheryl seems a bit happy about that. Oh. You get some gorgeous love, but... If I recall, this episode play actually gives costume points to um, Makina's gorgeous costume instead of Cheryl's. Alright, the last red box. No evolution at all. And wrong season <laughs> for this, but you know, uh, I don't know. It, it's just horrible luck altogether. <laughs> So as usual guys, thank you guys for joining me on another very disappointing gacha video. <laughs> as usual, if you guys enjoy seeing my dilemma, <laughs> leave a like on this video, <laughs> comment your own personal pools and your thoughts on the episode play itself, and yeah, if you guys are new, subscribe to the channel for more content just like this, and whatever else I actually put out on my channel, if you guys, um, you know our weeps and gamers alike. <laughs> I'll see you guys very soon. Until then, bye!